Welcome to Hometown Homes, a video series where we connect you with homes around our county. Today we take a trip to the Roms Farm. Their 2300 square foot farmhouse sits on 100 acres of land. The foundation is 28 feet by 42 feet, featuring 84 feet of porch space. This farmhouse has five bedrooms and three bathrooms, along with a classroom. We caught up with the Roms so they could tell us a little more about their home. Well, we're the Roms. I'm Brian, this is Allison, and this is Lily, our newest addition. So we're from Indiana originally. We grew up together there and then uh, moved to Michigan after college. I lived there for about two years and she lived there for six months or so and then we transferred down here with a job. So we grew up in a town of about 3,500 people. And so when we moved to North Texas, it was fun, but it was a big change, right? Like you could, it was only, a little, I mean, we enjoyed going out to eat, but we just found ourselves in our garage building stuff. And so we knew that we were just not made for the city. And um, so we started putting bids on houses up there, but they were going so fast and they were asking so much more than what their value was. That, that was just not a good fit. And um, so the Lord really provided this land and um, we jumped on it and we started to build. So we hired a friend of the family to be the, the general contractor. He did the, the framing and siding, basically got it dried in. Uh, the, the downstairs area here, he did everything to completion because when we started building the, the house, we didn't have any kids yet, but then Edmund was coming along and we had to, had to get it finished. So we let him, the original goal was for him to do the outside and then we were gonna completely finish the inside, but we let him go ahead and finish the inside downstairs so we could get moved into it. But. Then upstairs was just just bare studs, and really during the the COVID time frame here, we 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 really got on that project and finished it. But um, before the building prices went up, so yeah, actually, it was really good. <laughs> we caused the building prices to go up, so it was basically everybody doing what we did. We got all this free time to to uh, finish all the projects that you never had had gotten around to. But um, we've since then kind of rebuilt the entire downstairs uh, one way or the other because we've had to tear out a, a bathroom for water damage and the whole outside of the house because of a, a, a leak slash flooding problem. And then we had a, had a house fire that really destroyed the kitchen and did smoke damage to the whole house. So uh, there's not much in here we haven't done or redone or maybe redone twice. So. <laughs> So when we designed this house, we knew we wanted a huge kitchen, right? Because I have a garden and I knew I was gonna put up a ton of produce. And then I have play dates and all kinds of people. I don't know, I, we always just felt like the kitchen was the heart of the home, right? And so um, I spent a lot of time in it, a lot of time cleaning and cooking and uh, meal prepping. Um, I also write recipes, um, so I just, it's, I probably spend a good amount of time. If I'm not in the garden, I'm probably in the kitchen. So I think inside the house, <clears throat> my favorite room outside is the shop, of course, but inside the house, the favorite room is the classroom, really. It's, um, I don't get involved with the teaching a whole lot with, uh, we homeschool all, all of our kids, but um, it's, just such a beautiful thing for for me to be able to to walk in the classroom and see the the patterns of the day where the, the little ones have you know been doing artwork or practicing their writing they've got a little reading nook but um, it's so cool because you can look out the windows and they're just they're right in the trees they're they're on the second story and they've they've got the the most beautiful views out there and and we call it farm tv because it's uh it's like the kids getting distracted by the TV, but it's because you know they hear some commotion out there with the ducks or the chickens, and they're they're getting up from their desk and sprinting over the window to see what's going on, and, and it's it's just beautiful with them having the opportunity to, to not be in a big building, kind of locked indoors every day.
So I've got two separate shops. I've, I've got a, a little shed that I've converted into a wood shop and then uh, we've kind of walled off a corner of our, our big uh, cow barn as a, as a metal shop. But it's, it's really the, um, I don't know, it's where my passion is, building things and fixing things. And, and, and a lot of what you see around here has been a product, especially that wood shop. Um, I mean, in the early days, the wood shop was just the back porch because I was, you know, trying to build all the cabinets and, and work on everything right here in the house. But um, while entertaining the babies, while right? entertaining the babies. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure all of them, uh, like the the music that plays in the background at Lowe's or Home Depot, that's that's like uh, what they fall asleep to most of the time. But. You know, I think. Uh, just having this space and just continuing to be part of God's plan and creating things on it for people to come and enjoy and touch. And someone asked me this week, I invited them over and they said, can I leave my kids at home and just come and play with the animals? And like, I laughed. I'm like, yes, of course you can. But like, it's so, it's so cool that we can use this to even without the kids, like just recharge mom, right? Um, there is something special about being surrounded by God's creation. And it, it touches the soul in a special way. And we constantly, uh, we're outside and we pray over our land and that it would be filled with God's presence and it would be used to, to change people.